UFC Fight Night, Nicolau vs. Perez, took place on April 27th and raked in at least $7 million from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting contract. And while it took place in the UFC Apex so there are no ticket sales to report, the total revenue would have been boosted by sponsorships and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters actually take home? Before I get into the payouts, my last video on UFC 300 absolutely blew up, so a huge thank you to everyone who supported the channel from the early days. I did get a number of comments constructively critiquing the fact that I wasn't explicit enough with my disclaimer. So yes, these are all estimates. Most commissions don't disclose fighter pay information, so the persons I'll be showing in this video are just estimates based on past disclosed earnings from the commissions that actually do release them. With that said, let's jump into the first fight. Every fighter that's under contract, if you want to tell the media what you're paid, that's up to you. Kicking off the main card with a bang, Uros Medic dropped the veteran Tim Means with a perfectly timed uppercut midway through the first round, extending his 100% finish streak and securing the TKO victory. Means brought in $96,000 to show, and the maximum non-championship 21,000 in Venom sponsorship, also known as Fight Week Incentive, for $117,000 on the night. While Medich earned $26,000 to show and $26,000 for the win, along with $6,000 in Fight Week incentive and a 50k performance of the night bonus, for a total of $108,000. The second fight saw David Onama take on fellow featherweight Jonathan Pierce. It was incredibly close and tied on the scorecards going into the final round. Both men survived a Holloway Gaethje-style slugfest in the last 10 seconds, and the fight would go the distance, with the judges giving Onama the unanimous decision victory. Pierce made $48,000 to show, and as Onama missed weight by 2.5 pounds, Pierce also took home 20% of his purse for another $11,200, along with $6,000 in Fight Week incentive for $65,200 on the night. And the winner David Onama took in $28,000 to show and another $28 for the win, but lost out on 20% for the weight miss, $6,000 in Fight Week incentive, and a total of $50,800. In the third fight, heavyweight Austin Lane controlled his opponent Jonathan Janiz on the ground for nearly the entirety of the first round. However, Lane started to lose steam in the second, while Janiz connected with big shots and finished the fight with a left hook that connected right on the chin, delivering him the KO victory. Lane took home $10,000 to show and $4,000 in fight week incentive for $14,000. While Janiz on his first fight in the UFC also made $10,000 to show and another $10,000 for the win, $4,000 in fight week incentive, along with a huge pay bump from a $50,000 performance of the night bonus, coming out to a total of $74,000. After a close first round, Carini Silva found success on the ground in the second against fellow flyweight Ariane De Silva and held a solid chunk of control time going into the final round. The third took place primarily on the feet, but the fight ended back on the ground with Silva threatening a submission. The scorecards came down as a unanimous decision victory for Carini Silva. De Silva earned $52,000 to show, $11,000 in fight week incentive, and took home a total of $63,000. And Carini Silva brought home $22,000 to show and $22 for the win, $4,500 in Fight Week incentive for $48,500 on the night. In the co-main event, Ryan Spann controlled Bogdan Gushkov on the ground for most of the first and had him in trouble towards the end of the round. But midway through the second, Gushkov landed a series of punches that hurt Spann, knocking him down with a big right hand and finishing him off with ground and pound to notch the TKO win. Span took home $64,000 to show and $11,000 in Fight Week incentive for a total of $75,000. While Gushkov brought in $12,000 to show and $12,000 for the win, $4,000 in Fight Week incentive, and a meaningful $50K for performance of the night, coming out to a total of $78,000. And the main event of the evening, Alex Perez knocked out Mateus Nicolau to reinsert himself back into flyweight title contention. The first round was back and forth without a ton of action, but Perez landed a few combos that put Nicolau on the back foot. Halfway through the second, he connected with a right hook that slumped Nicolau to the canvas and earned Perez the knockout victory. Nicolau brought home $34,000 to show and $6,000 in fight week incentive for $40,000 on the night. And the winner, Alex Perez, raked in $54,000 to show and another $54,000 for the win, $11,000 in Fight Week incentive, and a well-deserved $50,000 bonus, bringing his total to $169,000.
That's all for this episode. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next week for UFC 301 Pantosha vs. Urseg.